not only do I have an serrative colitis, I've had back surgery on my L5-S1 and I still have my screws, four screws, it's still rod with the cadaver bone that I made mine, huh? And on top of it all, I have what's called Renaud syndrome. My Aunt Marion Deton also has it. It affects your lower extremities, your, your hands and your feet, where you can't really regulate your temperature. And some people that have the Renauds, they, they go from just extreme cold and stay there. I fluctuate from hot to cold, and this is why I'm always drinking sweet tea because I'm hypoglycemic as well. So I have to have sugars to keep my energy up. And I have ice on my drinks, whether it be a Dr. Pepper or sweet tea. No lemon because I'm allergic to this shit. Not oranges, just lemons and limes. I don't have much gas. And it was 108 heat index today. And I had one guy this morning that I asked if he could spare some ice for my cup. And he, and he was cordial, but he only gave me a half a cup. A half a cup. We couldn't even fill it up and, and knowing that it's a hot muggy day and I gave him a can of pre of, of Cheetos hot Cheetos I've asked for help and I've begged for the law to do what's right I wouldn't be sitting in my truck doing without and suffering something ungodly with my health issues all based on low life liars and those are the people that are animals those are the people that kill their own and unfortunately, my mother is one of them. And thanks to my aunt and my uncle, they fucking vigilantly made sure that I fucking suffered. Why? Oh, because they're fucking jealous. Why does she get to be the one? Well, maybe because God Almighty chose me. I didn't choose me. My God in heaven did. My mother on earth, here, Mother Earth, did. My grandmother, Dorothy Bean, prayed for me. And of course I'd come back to protect my own. All the while, my own went rogue. took my children. You took my everything. And then just to help me get back all the time. In the three years I was gone, you were trying to kill me. Send in those low-life Blair blamers. David Allen Blair, I swear to God, if I ever hear you coughing near me again, I'll kill you. And you go ahead and you take that as a threat. Go ahead, because I have every right to protect myself. And hey, Tony Stevenson, no means no, you stupid son of a bitch. I told you even before I came to your house, I didn't want to have sex with you. But you still forced your fucking dick in me while I was leaning over on that damn balcony in your apartment. I'm so sick to death of people like you. No means no.
that apparently I can't get anybody to fucking help me. But everybody says they care, huh? Where? I had a nice park lady staff and one of the other staff members, uh, there are a few of them, very kind. And the one she brings me a burrito. I wouldn't have had anything more solid to eat if it wasn't for her, and I am thankful to God Almighty for her. And I have asked people, not just one, several, do you have any eyes you can spare me? Oh, there's an ice machine or a store down the road. Yeah, I don't have any money and I barely have any gas now. And you know how hard it is to sleep in your truck with back surgery over 20 years ago? Oh, but I need to just stay strong. All the while, nobody comes, nobody helps, nobody cares. But you forgot I did. I did. And you took my cat, my George. You wretched my soul. And there is no coming back from that. There's no forgiveness. Not even God Almighty will forgive you. You made children suffer, and I was one of them. Even though I begged and I pleaded for you to stop. But you insisted because you think you're smarter. You're not God. Get the fuck over it. Get on with yourself. Oh, wait. You wasted your entire fucking lives trying to fucking destroy mine. And boy, you sure fucking did. Every twist and every fucking turn you've tried to kill me. Then I've survived. You would think that you would quit thinking that I was weak. Give me a fucking break! Get the fuck out of my life! I don't like you! I don't want you! And I will say no to you every fucking time. I will not be your slave to your every little bitch, you fucking cunt. Get the fuck over it. Give me my shit back, Marion. You executor whore. You killed my grandmother and you killed my grandfather. You fucking had him castrated before you did, you fucking cunt. And my grandpa kept asking, Hey, man, I wonder if uh, Lorena Bobbitt's husband got my dick. And I'm like, Grandpa, fucking quit saying that. He's like, well, you're thinking it too. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, I did. Grandma did too. But then we got a good laugh out of it because Dillhole went to go get into the porn and then we were like... Yeah, that's probably Grandpa's dick, but we don't want to go watch the dill hole X-rated movie to to go view the dick because you know it's it's been altered, it's been cut, so it, it may not view the same dick <laughs> as the original dick. <laughs> Man, y'all are fucked up, more fucked up than than you calling me psychotic. Do you know 